All right, my 2016 Yamaha Wolverine R spec 708 single, 775 total kilometers. It's got the full Defender enclosure cab. It's got fully integrated door latches and windows swivel windows that I had made after I bought the cab. It's got a full tempered front window which means it won't scratch and it's got a two-stage wiper. Bucket seats, grab handle, two-wheel, four-wheel and full front diff lock, high and low beam along with a 12-inch Cree LED. Um, full integrated heating system right here with four stage uh, heater fan. Uh, this is your winch control. These are your rear lights and your front lights. Um, that's for the uh, winch if you want to use the cord. 12 volt plug in. Seventy four kilometers. Power steering, too, electronic power steering on these, which is great. One finger steering. There's the wiper system. Got a homemade LED light for the dash. with this and got a 2,000 pound one winch. I have uh, since about three years ago after owning this took off the uh, the wire cable and replaced it with the nylon rope but the nylon rope just works too slowly when the when the uh, winch is raising and lowering so I just simply took that out and wrapped a 10,000 pound uh, um, strap inside the drum and now the winch raises and lowers very quickly. Not too quickly but way quicker than the, uh, than the nylon rope did. Here's your LED on the front. It's great for driving at night and for plowing in snowstorms. These lights get the wattage on these now but they draw no power and uh, they're great for backing up. I just leave them on at night when I'm driving and plowing. I basically have used it uh, well not very much with 775 kilometers and when I bought this in the fall of 2015. It's been a great bike. So oh, this is the plow that comes with the bike. It's a 72 inch, 6 foot Warren Pro Vantage. I've been using it for four years. Real simple to, uh, to load on the bike, to hook up. It takes literally about 35, 40 seconds, under a minute. And it's been great. Super strong, easy to mount, and 72 inch. And it uh, works with the Warren winch. I talked about earlier. So I just want to talk a little bit about this heater system. Uh, I've had this for about four years and it is a phenomenal upgrade to having an enclosed cab. Uh, it's got two swivel settings here. I normally keep this pointed towards me and this towards the passenger. It's got a four stage uh, dial for your heat 
or for your fan setting, and it's also got a hot and a cold setting here, which I never have put it on cold. And it's got two uh, window vents, <coughs> one here, and the, they swivel, and that one swivels as well. And um, normally, uh, on really cold days, when it's frosted up a lot, or when it's snowing, I'll turn these closed, which provides more air than I have the vents, the dash vents to the window, and then once the window is completely um, dried off, which takes no time, I'll just uh, open these back up again. And uh, on high, after probably 10, 15 minutes, I'll have to shut this right off because it gets that hot inside the cab and I'll have to open the windows as well so um, there's not a lot of room in here that needs to be heated so the heat stays in well and I've put in uh, foam in all of the cracks and areas where uh, air can get in and out of especially around the dash and that really helps to keep the heat trapped in so that's a great upgrade these installed after I bought the cab for it. It's just a simple swivel design. I unlock this and can turn these open fully closed and then just lock them back into place again. And that provides more than enough ventilation um, on both sides if you want. I keep this on a battery tender since day one. The battery's still showing 12.6 volts and 14.4 when it starts, which or 14.2, which is perfect. And uh, everything is underneath here. Um, and latch these guys. Just turn this guy off. Move that out of the way. This just pops off. And, uh, there's your battery down here. And all your relays. And everything's hooked into the battery, the lights and the winch power. Never had to uh, replace the battery on this. Nice, easy setup. And uh, the oil changes on these are easily done as well, as opposed to some machines. There's only one drain plug for the oil, and the filter is very easy to get to. Just changed the oil on it uh, about a week ago, and the front and rear diff both. Um, I probably changed the oil probably half a dozen times in the uh, 774 kilometers I've owned it, and I've changed the front and rear diff I think three times now. And that's it.